everybody. We are doing our tree pose sequence yoga class. This is what we made in our sequencing class. And I figured um, for sequencing. And you can learn how to do this at ashesyoga.com. I specialize in sequencing and yoga practice. And so we're going to put this down and actually practice it and see how it goes. So let's just put this right in front of us. And today our uh, peak pose is tree pose. It's a pretty easy pose, but there's a lot of balance involved and some hip opening. So we are, uh, I'm with my mom, Rosie, and we're going to be doing tree pose yoga sequence. So in this, let's see, we have tree pose is our peak pose. Our theme is just to find life balance, to allow ourselves to find balance in our breath, in our mind, our body, all of that kind of stuff. So we're going to start seated. Feel free to join us. Seated in an easy pose. So cross-legged or any or otherwise, if that's uncomfortable, you can always grab a block. We've got a block over there. That's okay, we don't need the blocks. Or however. I'm gonna spend a little time here taking a few deep breaths. So first go ahead and reach your arms up for a big long stretch for the morning. And exhale, draw the hands down. Just deepen the breath in and out through your nose. So we're cultivating a sense of groundedness as we start to get into these balanced poses. And a sense that we are complete exactly as we are without needing to be or do anything else in our lives. Okay, and after those few breaths, we could stay there a little longer, but we'll take our, uh, do start to do some movements now. So simple spinal warm-ups, we have four warm-ups. So we take our hands and reach up. Take a side bend down to the right, right hand down, left hand across. And back and forth, inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach up. By the way, Mom, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. <laughs> Exhale to the side. Lift three times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side. We have two more, sure. Inhale up. Exhale down. A little bend the top elbow. Look up. Reach up one more time. And exhale to the side. And the same thing with twisting. Reach up tall, lengthen the spine, then twist to the right. One hand on your knee, one hand with the base of that. Then reach up, inhale. Exhale to the side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to the side. So it's just this nice little motion. I just find feeling good. Feels good. I just ate breakfast a little while ago. That's okay. Two more. Reach up and twist. One more time and twist. Finally, reach up and then take your hands forward and roll to your hands and knees. Or bring your legs around. Yep. There you go. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We do cat and cow pose, so you arch the back and look up. Around the back and look down. We'll just do three of them. Of course, there's time and space in this class. If you were doing this on your own or part of the, the sequencing group, you could always just hold a little longer and wait or pause whenever. Okay, come back to neutral. Walk the hands forward just a little bit. Tuck your toes under, lift the knees and press back to down and facing dog. Down dog or bending the knees a couple times, pedaling, feeling the hamstrings. Gaze back towards the toes. You walk your feet forward to the top of the mat. Feet about hip distance. Fold it low, We've got red dog pose, grab your elbows and sway side to side. 
Shake out your head. Release your hands down to the floor. Bend the knees and roll yourself to standing. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it out for today. Then we step to the top of our mat and we'll head into some sun salutations, fully warm up our bodies. So mountain pose, feet together or slightly apart. Palms forward, standing nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back and down. Okay, then reach those arms up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hands can be through the center of the body. Fold it down, you bend the knees to touch the floor. Good, lengthen, half lift, look forward. Hands can be on the shins. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to plank pose. For the first one, hold, plank pose. Shift forward a little more. There you go, shoulders over the wrists. Drop the knees down. Elbows hug in and turn towards the back. Bend the elbows to 90 degrees. Push up. That's good, right there. Upward dog on the knees. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Good, breathe. <laughs> Exhale, look down, tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Couple deep breaths. Good, bend the knees, lift the heels. Look forward, step or jump to the top. Half lift, forward fold. Look forward, sweep the arms up, reverse one dive. Hands to your heart. So we have two more of those, sun salutation A's. Reach up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, exhale back to plank pose. Take a breath in from your knees or your toes. Try to push it. There you go. <laughs> okay, skip it up, Donna. That's okay. And downward facing dog. Exhale. You like those chaturangas? <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. Look forward. Bend the knees again. Exhale. Step. Jump. Or float. <laughs> forward. Half lift. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Rise up. Inhale. Look forward. Lift the arms. Hands to the heart. One more sun salutation. A. Reach up. This is for a vinyasa style class. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Look forward. Hey guys. Exhale, step back. Plank. You're going to shift it forward. You can take the knees down. Good. Try to push it up to 90 degrees. No, keep your butt up. You're going to bend the elbows. There you go. Up the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Down and chasing dog. Exhale, hips to the sky. <sighs> Look forward, bend the knees again. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, step forward. Or jump. Fold. Half lift. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Rise it up. Inhale. Reach overhead. And hands by your side. That was some salutation A. We've got some salutation B two times. We add some lunges. We'll try this. We can skip the child lunges too. Why not? Okay, bend the knees, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Step back to plank pose. Instead of going through this, all you do from plank pose is press back to down dog. Yeah. You moved your feet. That's okay. <laughs> Lift your right leg, just a little helping with momentum, and step between the hands as you exhale. Create space. Step. Good. Yeah, you can help it up there a little. Walk your hands back. Spin the back heel down for a warrior stance. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale back to the floor. Step back to down and facing dog. Good. Lift your left leg. Inhale. Step between the hands. Exhale. Then walk your hands back a little bit. Again, back heel seals down. Rise up. Exhale to the floor. Back to downward facing dog. Warm up is almost complete. Bend your knees. Prepare to step forward. Exhale. Jump or step to the top. 
Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, sit back, chair pose, reach up. Good, and hands to your heart, get lower. Lower, lower, we're not gonna reach, inhale. <laughs> One more time, forward fold, exhale. Half lift, inhale. Step back to plank pose, exhale, step or jump back. You can press it right back to down facing dog. Good, lift your right leg, inhale. Same thing, step between the hands. Back heel spins down, warrior one, sweep up. Hands back to the floor, exhale, full exhale, step back. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to the floor. Down facing dog. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Good. Okay. Good. Bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump forward. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Rise it up. So that was our sun salutation warm up. Oh, we forgot chair pose. That's okay. We're just really testing out. If you're just like joining us here, we're testing out our tree pose sequence that we made in our sequencing course, and which we're getting into this next week and a half in our month long course. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these with the group. So tree pose. Now we're getting into standing poses. So after our sun salutations, we feel pretty warm. A little bit out of breath, so keep breathing. And our first standing sequence has five poses. Second one also has five. So the first one, we'll just simply step it back. We could go through that whole flow to get into there, lunge forward. But instead, we're just going to step our left foot back first into a crescent lunge. Front knee bends. And the back knee can bend a little. The back heel's lifted. Yep. Back knee can actually bend a little bit so we get the hips and pelvis pulled under. So we can pull the lower belly in into the top. Switch legs. <laughs> it's half of the left leg. <laughs> there you go. It happens often, don't worry. Okay, so right here, high lunge, we'll reach our hands up. So we're just trying to get those legs pretty warm. Anytime you're in a crescent lunge and you're like, whoa, this is like a lot, you can take your knee to the floor. I'm going to try to hold here and breathe. Look up. Check it out. And we can hold these poses as long as we want. We won't do too long because we're just checking out how the class goes. Hands to your heart. Take a deep breath. This is our first twist. Exhale, left elbow to right leg. Other side. Other way. There you go. Good. Back heel is lifted. Hips are facing the front. Okay, stay there. Good. We want to lift the heel a bit more. A little bend in the knee. Twist. Twist. Soften. Relax. And look up. <laughs> We're gonna be talking to my dog. Look over here. <laughs> it's crescent lunge twist. And you could take the knee down if that works for you. But you know, you're looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Make sure your right toes are pointed forward. There you go. Okay, let's lift out of this crescent lunge. Reach up. Open the arms and lean forward. <laughs> That's all right, like feeling really warm. Yeah. Yeah. Hot. Okay, so this is the airplane lunge. This is pose number three in the sequence. Let's go to warrior three. So we bend the back knee, lift up, and you can do kickstand. Kickstand, or you can call this airplane if you want to, or you lift that back leg up to 90 degrees. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot on that right hip. And this is our first balance pose. I know we're doing tree poses probably a little easier than this, but we're really warming up to make our tree pose awesome. Okay, stand up, sweep it up, knee rises, hands rise, and hug the knee in, knee lift. Pull the foot up, and just practice balance. And you might be on the toes, tippy toe. That's okay, too, just like barely any weight on the toes. If our balance is really struggling, because if tree pose is a peak pose for you, it means balance is your weak point. So we need to add more balance to our practice. Okay, now bring it down, shake it out. That's it. We do the other side too. So now, right foot steps back, hands insert on the hips. So you can notice that the hips are neutral. 
and back knee's a little bent. Just pulled in. Because if you notice in crescent lunge, if we end up with this arch in the back, if you can see that, that's not a very good neutral hip pelvis region. And your core is going to help you through all your poses and keep you stable. So you're going to pull it in. And also gives you better stretch in that back leg. So here we go. Reach up. We want good alignment. Mountain pose alignment. So hips and upper body. And then let's bend the elbows a little bit. Soften the shoulders. Bend the shoulders. Shoulders soft. Look up. Reach. Good. Take your hands to your heart. Take a deep inhale to prepare. And then we go to the last this time. There you go. Right elbow to the left leg. Keep you on the knees or up. And work on pressing the top hand into the bottom hand as you twist. We'll pass the left shoulder. Good hands. And you line up the heart. Yeah, so for you, it's a little bit of a lift. Yeah. Lift. That digestive system going with some twists. Back to the center, reach up. Airplane, open the arms, lean forward, airplane, lunge. Oh, back heel still lifted, toes point forward. Look forward, find a focal point you can look at. Okay, bend the back knee, we're shifting forward. Straighten the legs, we go tippy toe on the floor. So if we're doing more your three, your upper body is in the lens of your back body, your leg. So the lower the leg, the higher the body. Your leg is higher, your body is lower. Side view there. We're focusing on balance. We'll look at a point on the floor and stick to it. Just beyond the tip of the nose. You sweep that right leg up, reach up. Again, balance might be tippy toes right now. And we get to hugging the knee. Lift it, pull the foot up. Good. You could use a wall or a friend <laughs> for balance. Again, it's super tricky. Balance is kind of crazy in that it's the easiest thing to notice if it's a weakness. It's like you fall and you're like, oh, I'm stuck at this. But it's okay, you gotta do, you gotta do something to get better at it. All right, shake it up. That was our standing series number one, five poses. We now have standing series number two, which includes more warrior poses. So we'll start once again, from the top of the mat, feet together. We could, and once I could go through the vinyasa floor to get there. In fact, let's do that. We reach up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. So instead of stepping back, we're going to use a sun salutation. Half lift, inhale. Very common vinyasa classes. Hands to the floor, step back to plank. Now you can press right back to down dog. I'll go through the chaturanga. Up to, oh, you're going to do it too? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Down and facing dog. Good. Lift your right leg, inhale, take a half. Exhale, step between the hands. This time our back heel spins down and we circle up to warrior two. Yeah. Bend right knee, so let's side view it for you. Hey there, how's it going? <laughs> side view warrior two, you're looking forward into the right fingers. Right toes are pointed forward. Press into the pink to the edge of the foot. Good. And this intensity is set by how close or far your feet are. Warrior two, reach forward, lean. Take your elbow to your thigh, left arm reaching up, side angle, pose number two in the sequence. And the depth of your side angle is up to you. We want to get these hips down. Okay, I'm going to do a little side view here. So you might find this thing happening here. If you bend a little deeper, these hips can get down. You get a straight line all about the side of the body. Hands straight up or extend it with the side of the body. I'll do side view for you. Okay, lift it back up to warrior two, straighten the legs. Your back foot can heel tone a little bit more. Right foot forward. Good. Your hips are more forward. Shoulders towards me, so open. Straight leg, reach forward. Hand anywhere down the leg, foot or floor, four. Triangle pose. Look up. Yeah, I'm not like the triangle pose. <laughs> I think 
can feel it. Bend the front knee. Another balance pose. Yes, it's harder than tree pose. However, we're going to do it. So we shift forward, lift off to half moon. Half moon, oftentimes people will think they have to touch the floor and will find themselves collapsing. This is in fact an open, open pose. So if you find yourself falling forward and touching the floor, stay here and it's like, oh, type of this. Yeah, it doesn't have to be hand to the floor. So you can be way far from the floor and just be fine. Just as long as your body's open, your hips are stacked, or if the hamstring allows your hand might touch the floor. But very gently, there's no weight on your hand. So it could also look like this with a tiptoe, very little, little weight on the toes. Yeah, half moon. Okay, dive the down hands to the floor. Lift that left leg high, standing splits. Walk your hands close to the right leg. Good. Step it back. Step it back. Down and facing dog. That's it for that side. Let's do the other side. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Left leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Step forward. Big windmill open to warrior two. Palms face down. Then taking the left knee. Shoulders over hips. Feel the hips level. Neutral. Yeah. Then the hips. Shoulders over hips. Lift in. Exhale. Lengthen. Look forward. <laughs> you had a good workout? Oh, yes, I can feel it. <laughs> workout. And how's that uh, life balance going? You feel in oh. balance yet? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Oh, okay, left elbow to your thigh. Right arm up. And side knee. We got side angle. We extend, reach. Oh, yeah, we're done softening these bad boys. <laughs> Thank you, little massage. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's what I needed. Yeah. This is bent a little bit deeper. I know your knees don't feel awesome, but there we go. Now lift back up to warrior two. Straighten the legs. Adjust the feet. Maybe the right toes point more forward. Left toes forward for sure. Reach far, far forward. Triangle pose. Left hand anywhere down the leg. Right hand goes up. Look up. Straighten a little more. There you go. Yeah. Head forward, roll this open, open, long. All right, there we go. Internal rotation. Beautiful. Beautiful. Triangle pose. Thank you. <laughs> Ready for a balance pose? Look yes. down. Bend the front knee. Reach as far forward as you can. Take off. Help me with this one. Okay. Yep. Open the hips. You can bring this hand down. You can actually like bring your whole body down. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Now lift that back leg if you need it. Mm -hmm. Energy through the leg. This is straight up. Yeah. Keep looking down. That's your thumb. Okay. At the floor. Take both hands to the ground. Ooh, oh. Keep that leg lifted. Left leg, yes. yeah, right leg up. Do we're not here for very much longer. Good, and step back. Down and facing dog. Take a moment in child's pose, knees down, sit back on the heels. <sighs> this is not in our sequence, but I think a little less is needed. That's a lot mm -hmm. of leg work, a lot of leg strengthening in those two sequences. Okay, back to downward facing dog. Lift the hips. Now walk the feet forward. And let's roll it up. So in our sequence, before we have tree pose, we actually have a little core exercise called standing ab back, like ab vacuum. So we're gonna pull everything out. It's just, it's kind of a breath movement, but also just it activates your abs a lot, your core. Mm -hmm. So you can stay strong in our balance pose, which we're heading into. So with this ab back, we're gonna take our arms open and wide, 
big breath like into the chest. Exhale, pull everything out. Pull it in, exhale until you can't exhale anymore, just like making a tiny little ball, pulling this up and in. Reach up, inhale. Exhale down. Do it again, open up the arm, big chest breath. Over to the right, exhale, squeeze, like you're trying to squeeze juice, your obliques are squeezing the orange. And breathe, exhale, out, ever. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. Let's go, a couple more, a couple more. Open up, big breath over to the left, exhale. Inhale, let it go, softly down. Whew, getting dizzy. One more time, open up. Exhale, pull it in forward. Tuck the tailbone, round everything forward. A little bend in the knees, squeeze. Pull it out. Don't pull it out. Okay, <laughs> it's like you're trying to like hold your breath a little bit in the water. Okay, so from there, we're actually just going right into tree pose. There's not much lead up into tree pose. So you're going to be back and forth. So we'll start with the left foot grounded into the floor. Right foot, hands on your hips to make sure they're level and forward. And you can start with a kickstand, right foot into the heel or into the ankle. And then if you feel balanced, think of being grounded, balanced, and stable. If you think of falling and not stability, or like think of the opposite, you're going, your body's going to do what you're thinking. So think of being lengthened, tall, grounded, down, and yeah, feeling good. So then your right foot inches up your leg. We avoid the knee. There's this little knob there, but your knee's not meant to go left and right. So you're going to avoid the knee and go up to where it's comfortable. It doesn't have to be the inner thigh. It can still be down here. With this tree pose focus, draw the knee back, hips forward. You feel this little hip rotation? There you go. Balance. <laughs> yeah. I know, this one's like, this is a tough one. It is. And then we find a focal point and reach those arms up. And if you fall out of it, as much as you fall out, just keep, keep at it, keep coming back to it. It might be easier too without your mat to be on like a wood floor. So sometimes cushion like carpet or a soft floor is going to be very, um, help, not helping your balance. At the same time, Soft floors actually help your balance because, I mean, it's harder, so you have to try harder. So hands up, and you can play with this by taking your gaze up, close eyes, adding a back bend. I had saw a teacher do that in a hot yoga class once, and I was like, whoa, back bend and tree pose. And typically, you don't want the teacher <laughs> to talk too much or there to be too much music because you get distracted. So sorry about that. And make sure that a couple breaths, I don't know, we can stay here a minute or so. And we're out of it. Let's bring that down. Shake it out a little and try the other side right away. There's another option too for, I've heard this uh, called hot tree sometimes, but also like half lotus. You bring your foot to the inner thigh. Yeah, so there's that one. This actually, if you have the hip opening, is easier because you're, you don't have to press your foot into your thigh, which to me, I feel like it's sometimes harder. You can be a little unstable. This is more, um, your knees pointed down, or would be, and it's more like linear forward back, where this one, you've got uh, weight going to the right, knee drawing back. You've got all sorts of topsy-turvy things. So you're gonna find your tree pose, and sometimes lower tree pose, even if you can do higher tree pose, is a better option, because if you don't do it often, you wanna try different versions. Reach up. Trying, find that focal point. Deep breaths in and out. Think of your foot rooted into the ground like you would a tree standing tall. Redwood forest. What, what kind of tree do you want to be today? Birch trees, palm trees, pine trees. Palm tree. Palm tree. I have to be like this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but we actually want to get in. Oh, and we bring it down. Okay. So coming down to, now that was pretty much our peak pose, 
Let's do a little shake and a forward fold. So let's take our feet wider, fold down, bend the knees, and do a little sway, and bend the knees a little. So one thing we don't have on our sequence, I don't think we have pigeon pose, but I think it would be really great to do that since we did so much leg work today. So we are going to bend the knees into a squat and sit back. We can do a seated pigeon pose first. For, so extend the legs forward. Now we're down to our seated poses. So this is the last third of our class. So we did our warm up. We did our standing sequences or our, our bigger heat building sequences with our peak pose. Now on to seated poses. So staff pose, we're sitting up tall in this L position. Now we sit on a blanket or block or bolster. Reach up the hands and let's head to a forward fold. Exhale. Oh, I do have pigeon pose on there. Never mind. We're going to continue with the sequence as laid out to see how it goes. <gasps> My battery's dying. I gotta get. You stay there. I want you guys to miss out on this. forward fold, making sure my computer doesn't die, that would be unfortunate, mm -hmm. okay, lift it back up, good, hands behind your back, point the toes, a little heart opener, lift, you can point your fingers towards your toes, Whoop. yeah, there you go, for the chest, shoulders, your lower back down, Let's take the left foot to the inner thigh. So this is like seated tree pose, pretty much. They've got the yeah. same kind of muscles going on. This is head to knee pose. You're gonna fold your turn right over that right leg. Reach up and fold over the foot. So now it's hamstring stretch. And keep working that long spine into your body. Okay, lift back up. Let's just keep it simple by switching sides. Other foot into the inner thigh. Head to knee pose. Sit up tall, reach up. If you have a strap or something too, you can always put that around your foot. If you've got tight hamstrings. Throw those standing forward folds or any kind of forward folds that you're seated. Seated forward folds, you maybe want a strap or something like that. Okay, let's bring it back up. We have seated pigeon. So let's extend the right leg, left foot over the knee. So now we're in this figure four. Then bend the right knee. I probably should have chose different colors to wear. It's hard to see what I'm wearing in that video, but that's okay. So then we just kind of inch our way forward or the bottom foot can inch its way back. So that nice and tall and lift. So you flex that left foot to stay. Um, Stay active and safe on the knee. Seated pigeon. Nice little one to hold. To hold. So this is a, a variation of regular pigeon pose, which looks like this, where you extend one leg back, one leg bent. Oh, Cobra wants to say hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yeah, let's just add a little double pigeon to our lives. Take that right foot, heel, toe, get under so your legs are stacked just for a moment. Well, not quite loaded, so your right leg's not yet right there. Now walk the hands forward, deeper into the hips. Woo, an intense one. This could actually be considered the peak pose of this class, um, double pigeon pose. or fire log pose, it's also mm -hmm. called. Okay, walk it back up. 
and extend, let go of the legs. Let's try the other side, so extend the legs, right knee over the top of the left, or right ankle over the top of the left knee. Good, bend the left knee, figure four, seated. Yep, so you got tall hands behind you. And breathe, close your eyes if that feels good. Okay, let's heel tilt that left foot across the mat into your fire lock. So your ankle over knee, knee over ankle. Of course, if you find yourself like this, you can just sit regular cross leg or, uh, or adjust a little bit as needed. But if you can get the, the straight lines, then you won't have any chance. Walk it forward, fold it down. So this is a much more leg and hip opening class because we wanted to focus on tree pose today. Okay, walk the hands back up, release your legs. Let's put the feet together, knees open wide, bound angle, so should get into the inner thighs a little. Another great place where you can sit on a block or sit on something to lift you up. Grab your feet and open them like a book. Hug the elbows towards your ribcage. Lean forward. Exhale. Ooh. This is another great one for tree pose prep as we are opening the thighs and hips and using those, those same kinds of muscles. If a tree pose, once again, a tree pose is something you're really striving towards. Okay, lift it back up. Last pose seated will be a core strengthening pose. So knees together, lean back 45 degrees, lift the legs. Hands can stay behind you or reach them forward, boat pose. I'm gonna turn this side for a little side view. So you wanna make sure we're not rounded here. Instead of lifted, shoulders back, chest lifted. I'm give you a little adjustment here. Get back there, get back there. There you go. <laughs> and then take your knees together. I know it's a tough one. <laughs> it's a tough one. Boat pose. We can do lots of variations on this, but we'll just do boat pose for you know plenty of breath. So you can hold behind. Or take your elbows to the floor if you're you know feel like it. Extend the legs a little longer then, less bend. <laughs> straight legs also. Uh, well, not straight up. No, we gotta bring <laughs> the <laughs> forward. Okay, that's a boat pose. So you're gonna stay in boat pose. You wanna make it challenging, make sure you're breathing. Get feet to the top of the mat, using that core strength, roll it down. So we've got simple supine poses to finish and conclude. So that bend the knees, feet hip distance apart. So pull the knees, or, you know, face this way. Palms down, and we lift the hips into bridge pose. Hips and low back into a simple bridge pose. Bridge or wheel pose if someone's dying for a deep back bend. We didn't do a lot of back bend prep or anything today, so this one's probably just fine. If you are teaching this class or using this sequence, you could definitely do this multiple times with a rest in between. Nope. Okay, lower back down. Now take your legs straight up. <sighs> legs up the wall. Pull legs up. Now straight up the hips, so less towards you. You've got flexible hamstrings. <laughs> you go. Legs stay up. Legs up the wall or shoulder stand. And shoulder stand is when you press through the elbows and lift all the way. Hands on the lower back. And you want to feel like your neck is doing just fine. No injuries there. We're just getting ourselves into an inversion to wind down in our practice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, bend your knees and hug the knees in. Rock side to side. And draw both legs down to the right for spinal twist. Look towards me. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Fine. Great. Now 
constant. <coughs> and lift it back up, knees to chest. And then exhale over to the other side. And together, twist it out, neutralizing the spine and allowing the body to let go. Still breathing those deep yogi breaths, connecting, finding balance in your whole body and mind. Okay, draw the knees back up. Hug your knees in close, and we can grab the feet too for happy baby. That's always a nice little, you know, fun little rock and roll side to side. You can kick it, you can make it wide. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing like last poses. And then we extend our legs and show them Shavasana. And we won't stay here for too long just because of the video aspect. Mm -hmm. So you hold the Shavasana, let everything go. And I feel like everything is in balance. So your feet are heavy, your hands are heavy, head is heavy. We'll balance out and equalize so that we keep this balance through us the rest of our day. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to think about much. You can just allow the thoughts to wander without attaching to them. You can let your mind clear from all the chaos and clutter. This is your reward. <laughs> it's like your, your dessert, your cookie at the end of your vegetable meal. Mm -hmm. You did the hard work and now you relax. Okay, you have to wiggle the fingers and toes, short shavasana, reach your back, <sighs> roll to your side, press back up to a seated pose, where well, we are concluding our practice, where we started, like bookends. As a reminder, we are do, we did this sequence, which you can't see here, I have to stand up and show you again. We did this sequence, which we put together, I put together, helped for in our sequencing course. You can learn more about that at ashesyoga.com. And you can learn how to sequence your own home yoga practices. So we just finished our tree pose yoga flow class, vinyasa yoga class. Thanks for joining. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. But we do want to do a little recap. So how did that feel? Feels good. Do you it's feel like stretch from my whole body? Do you feel like there was any imbalance or something could have been added? How long did that take us? 43, 40 minutes or so. Longer Shavasana would have been 50 minutes or so. So that actually could have easily been an hour long class because we kind of went faster in a few places. Mm -hmm. So that could easily be an hour long class. Um, yeah, was there anything you felt that was missing or that we would have needed? What do you think? No, I like the variety of everything. Okay. And, you know, if you wanted it longer, you could have spent more time on each. Yeah, pose, but maybe I was fine. Fine with how it I was. was. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's really quite simple. It's the warm up is always usually the same as you got a, a starting pose, um, simple seated or spinal warm ups, sun salutations, and we do a However many stand, like you could add more standing poses. Mm -hmm. We could have added a, a back bend series on the ground, depending on what your peak pose is. Um, you could have added more relaxation, all of that. But uh, I think that it was pretty well enough balanced for, for tree pose. It might have been actually quite challenging uh, for some. So it was, you, we definitely felt it in the standing poses. Yeah, so that was really good. Yeah, I think I like that. It was a good one. Um, I think that in this though, the, the peak pose would actually be double pigeon pose. If we were to pick a new peak pose for that sequence, tree pose is more of um, just a, a pose that does give people challenge because it's a balanced pose, but it's not particularly a complicated pose. And our peak poses are typically a little bit more complicated and not something you could just get into before you start practice. Um, but balance is really great to work on. Keep at it and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, learn more at ashesyoga.com. We've got whole 
intro package to sequencing if that's something you'd like to do for your own home practice. You can check it out there. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.